Good evening, traders. Matrix here, and uh, here's my watch list for December 27th. All right, what a great day today. I mean, the SPY actually did what I kind of talked about yesterday, a uh, little dip at the open and then a rip and uh, finishing on its highs. Uh, as we talked about this uh, yesterday on my nightly watch list, I think I did talk about how um, the SPY in itself and the market in itself is very overextended. It needs a pop back up and uh, the I believe the smart money is going to manipulate this pop <clears throat> and uh, they popped it back up, sure enough, trying to get the get the retail traders to think that the bounce is in. Now, personally, I don't think this run is over yet. I think uh, since today is Wednesday, I think they're going to do it one more time just to pop it up a little bit more above the 9 EMA here, uh, around the 250 to 251 area. Okay, just to really trap in those longs that are eternally long bias, those guys who really wants to buy the dip. Once it passes this 9 EMA, and then uh, that's, that's when the trap is set, right? And then on Friday, we should see a nice sell-off. Um, that's my thesis on the SPY right now. Um, we did gap up after hours, but it faded a little bit. Uh, personally, I want to see uh, even more of a gap up. If not, uh, there's like two ways we can look at this. I mean, it can either uh, open flat at this 245, right, and then slowly grind up. Um, let's, you know what, let's take a look at the futures here real quick. Let me pull that up for you guys. Okay, so the futures is uh, almost closing now, and it's closing a little bit in the red for just of today for the 26. Let me pull that in. Right, but uh, we did get this after hour pop into the close, and then now it's fading a little bit. Now, I don't know how it's going to open yet. Uh, we still have about half an hour, an hour to go before the futures open for the next day. And that opens really determines uh, what the SPY wants to do. Personally, I want to see a pop up and over this 2474, 2475 area, like a little gap up. All right, that will really trap in the bounce play, uh, the bounce buyers, and uh, they'll start longing it. And as this thing runs up on the SPY, if it gaps up here, as this thing runs up on the SPY, I want to see it top out around this 251 area. Or, uh, yeah, this 251, 251.50s area. Okay, I want to see it gap up real high. Um, fooling everybody, uh, trying to trap in all the longs that uh, saw this market today. And all the longs are going to buy. And all the smart money is going to hammer that in once it reaches around this 251 area okay and i think this 251 area this 250 breakout a little bit above and it's going to fail i think it's going to be a failed breakout tomorrow uh if not then it's just going to linger around uh this 251 area and then on friday i want to see it gap up even further to make it overextended and then we get an all-day fader friday hammering it all the way back down so that's kind of like the plan going into tomorrow and Friday. With that said, uh, there are a few stocks I want to take a look at for tomorrow, okay? Uh, and particularly, I, I pulled up six charts tonight. Uh, let's start with JD. Um, I didn't trade JD today, but I did uh, call it yesterday for uh, a dip out the gates and then a rip. Um, what I didn't foresee was this major gap up that it did. I was actually looking at it to gap up to around this 20, uh, 20, 20s area. That's it, right? But it held that after hours and it gapped up a lot. But eventually it did fade down right out of the gates, like I called it. And that this move in itself was my plan, right? I just was looking at it. Uh, more from uh, this area and I was planning to short it back down to here. So it's the same move, but the idea is the same, right? Um, tomorrow, I'm looking at the daily chart right here. 2150s area, okay? This is key, key resistance, right? Uh, previous day's highs, 2151, 
we have key resistance here uh, previous day open here um, we have key resistance here key support key support as well so and support over here as well so 2150 very key I think uh, it's gonna dip and hold out the gates around this 21 uh, sorry this $20 and 80 mark and it's gonna start ripping and uh, this is where the 2050s is okay so by the time it gets to this area here I think it's gonna pop up a little bit over get people to buy in uh, buy this breakout right and then it's gonna rip and it's gonna rip all the way up to the 22 mark maybe even 2220 but from there I think it's gonna get hammered back down um, depending on this is the key mark I want to watch this uh, 2150s area right uh, when it gets up here I want to see buying pressure okay let me re reiterate that I want to see buying pressure buying pressure would mean that people do want to buy from there and will cause the stock to keep ripping and will cause the shorts to squeeze okay this in itself is the line in the sand for the short sellers in my opinion when the stock gets up here okay and then there's buying pressure and it starts squeezing the squeeze gonna take the stock up to the key psychological hole number of 22 but from here I think it fails though if there is no more buying pressure here if it gets up really quick at 2 to 22 and there's no more buying pressure give it a few candles a few minutes then I'm gonna short it right back down and the 22 is the 50 SMA so I'm definitely gonna be watching this 2150 and 22 area I'm looking for the buyers to get out of the way once the stock starts staggering up top and start consolidating but it doesn't show me signs of buyers coming in they're going to get the hell out and whoever bought here today at the $20 mark all right they're probably still holding okay and i think they will hold until this 2150 area and they will be looking at this as well and if they don't see that pop over 2150 these guys will get the hell out they will pay themselves selling and causing the stock to come right back down so that's my plan on JD um, I'm gonna watch this rip okay I think it's gonna dip a little bit out the gates hold and retest this 2080 uh, getting people to buy in some more and then rip from there hit this 2150 area where whoever bought this $20 mark will be watching okay if it doesn't get over then it's done this thing is game over lights out come right back down and uh, that's my plan on JD next up we have AEO I did a little boxing day shopping today I walked by uh, American Eagle Outfitters and uh, it actually brought me to the stock I, I, I'm like okay let's take a look at AEO let's take a look at what it's doing right so I, I flipped the chart I took a look at AEO and this is what I saw it basically all the stocks ran today right every single stock made a great one now this major downtrend line I am going to follow okay this downtrend line AEO has followed very well overall this dog is coming up uh, this is a dog of a stock right and it's coming down soon the way it closed it closed really strong I do anticipate a gap up and a pop out the gates into the open and I'm looking at this $20 mark right here key psychological hole number I think it will test this trend line it might even pop over just a tiny bit right here maybe 20 25 cents okay inducing buyers to come in and then uh, and then it's gonna fail from there that's my plan on it so I'll be watching from that uh, if it starts holding the 20 mark though if it starts holding and starts making very subtle higher lows from the $20 mark and consolidate above the 20 I might consider longing it because we might have another day and if we're gonna long it this is my target 2150 okay uh, like I said before the spy <clears throat> it's not done yet 
it needs an, a little bit more oomph to it to really trap these guys, these dip buyers in before it sells back down. But overall, we are in bear market territory. We are in bear market. So that's what I think the smart money will be doing. They will pop the market a little bit, tricking people in and selling it back down when they least suspect it. Next up, we have SQ. SQ, I'm looking at the 26, uh, sorry, the $56 mark, as you can see, is a key psychological whole number as well as very key, key support, right? Tomorrow, as the stock comes up to the 56, maybe a little bit over 56.50 as well. This in itself is a double top, right? This cup and handle double top, I'm going to look for this to hit this cup and handle area and then fail. Um, maybe pull it back to down to 54 or a little bit more, 53.50. And uh, that's going to be my trade for the day. Uh, if it gets up and over 56, it might, I mean, if it gets up and over this 56.50, it might squeeze some more. It might have potential to get to 58. And uh, yeah, so keep in mind of that as well. Cut losses quickly if your trade does not work immediately. But uh, this is kind of like the entry point I'll be looking for. I'm looking for this cup and handle kind of uh, pattern here. Next up, we have Apple. Apple, uh, kind of like the same thing as SQ. I'm looking for this double top area here. Um, bring it right back down. I think the 158 area is the double top, right? Uh, the stock basically came up and closed on highs. I do think it might be able to gap up tomorrow as long as the futures gap up and taking the spy with it. Um, the double top area here is 158. Yeah, so there's that 158, and it might get a little bit above. So mark off 158.80s. And where's 158.80s? Let's see. It's basically the, huh. Oh, 158.80s is the 9 EMA right here. Okay, so if I move this out of the way, you see the 9 EMA. It might test this 9 EMA and then fail. Um, that's what I'm looking for. Right now, it's closing right at the 157.5 area. Um, let's see if it can get back up and over. And then I'm going to look for the fail. And uh, yeah, if it doesn't fail and it gets up over 160, we might be watching this going to uh, 165. I mean, really depends on what the SPY does as well. Um, these bigger names kind of like follow the spy and the spy in itself it might double top here at the 250 right reach this 9 EMA and then fail maybe a little pop up and over 251 and fail from there so that's the thesis on it gonna watch the spy as well as Apple to go along with my entry uh, potentially looking for the double top Facebook same thing right uh, the 135 area I'm watching right now okay key key psychological whole number we're coming right up to it um, i'm gonna mark off 135 right here on the daily chart right here exactly which is this red candle the high of days right uh look at this massive volume this is where the big boys dumped it right and then uh previous day we also had it top out here so let's watch this 135 a little bit over and under and watch for the dump because this thing is overextended and I'm looking for that cup and handle. So we made the cup today. Tomorrow should be the handle coming in. And finally, Roku. Roku made my scans on top gainer scans as well as my daily green scans. Okay. Uh, Roku is into the 9 EMA. What I'm watching for is uh, that Roku really close strong. Okay. Uh, so we might be getting a gap up. I also want to note that on the daily chart, there's a major downtrend going on. So watch this trend line as I plot it. Is this how I plot it? Yeah. Okay. So this trend line is pretty key. Uh, I'm looking at this trend line and it meets directly right at the 32 mark. So I do anticipate the stock to have trouble coming up to this 32. 
uh, maybe over under this wick right here. As, as you can see, we have the opening price here. We have opening price, we have support. So 32, key, key area. Um, I wanna see a gap up into the 32 and uh and fail from there 32 over and under because uh a lot of shorts are watching this right now okay and at the first sign of the 32 they will come hammering back in uh, i might not short it right away at the 32 when the when the 32 shorts come and they hammer it back in <clears throat> it really depends on how it pulls if it pulls back obviously it's going to pull back and then it's going to bounce somewhere along the line. So the first pull is not going to be the hardest. It's going to bounce as soon as possible. And then uh, it's going to double top around this 32 as well. And I want to watch that double top. If that 32 double top holds, I'm going to hammer it and uh, bring it right back down. Roku is going to be one of my main watches tomorrow. If it doesn't gap up tomorrow, if it gaps down, I'm going to watch for a dip out of the gates. And we have key support here at 29.50. As you can see, it's basically a breakout area of today, right? We have this U-shaped breakout, and then it tested and held, and then just came right back up. Um, this in itself is kind of like a mini short squeeze, but there's still a lot of shorts piled in. If 32 gets up and over and starts holding 32, all these shorts who are piled in, uh, they're going to they're gonna cover up and make this thing squeeze even more, right? So really going to be careful about 32. And uh, it's going to be my main watch tomorrow. That's my watch list this evening. Uh, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe if you like what you watch. Thank you. Uh, make a comment, hit the like button, share. And I'll see you guys all bright and early tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Ciao.